entered ink. Michael Rosen vs. Sonic.exe Once I got a letter from my friend Hans from Holland. Michael, I can't take it anymore. I had to get rid of this thing somehow before it was too late. Don't even play the game. It's what he wants. Just destroy it. Please. Oh no, it isn't. Hans. It's just one of his tricks. <coughs> Yes. It wasn't one of his tricks. This is really nice. Great Scott! You're Sonic! What are you doing? Hello, do you want to play with me? No. Yeah, really, <laughs> really rather chipper voice. Gee, it sure is burning around here. Never make that noise again. <laughs> <sighs> Don't do that. Don't hurt me, you absolute jerk. Next time I see that stupid rat, I'm going to kick his up. Stop doing that. Stop that stupid noise. For God's sake! For out! <coughs> you! Yo! Right, that's it! <laughs> I've had enough! souls to play with. So little time. Would you agree? Mm. I'll get you next time, <laughs> Gadget. Now I'm angry. I am angry. I should have snapped the stupid disc to pieces. Now I'm stuck in here. But I've got a secret weapon under my watch. <laughs> Frying pan. <laughs> What's the time? <laughs> it's time to die. Ow! 
Don't do that. You... All right, let's call it quits. No. Yes! Oh, yeah. Bendy, bendy, yeah, bendy, bendy. Bendy, bendy, bendy. I got through! <laughs> I hate that hedgehog. Michael Rosen's chocolate boy obsession. Chocolate cake. When I was a boy, I had a favourite boy. It was when my mum made boy. Oh, I love boy. My mum, she says to me, Listen, Michael, if there's any left over at the end of the day, you can take some to school tomorrow to have at playtime or at lunchtime or at playtime or at play lunch. So I used to go to school with a piece of chocolate boy in my little box and I'd be walking to school in my little box. Yeah! <laughs> and I'd get to school and it would be playtime or lunchtime and I'd open up the box. Take it out. Lots of chocolate cake. Open up the paper. Look at it. <laughs> Gonna get it in a guitar. Yeah. Well, look at it. It's in ya. Yeah. Mm. I loved my mum's chocolate boy. Yes. And I went to bed and I was fast asleep. And then in the middle of the night, I woke up and I thought, mm. chocolate boy. <laughs> Maybe I could go downstairs and have a little look at it. <laughs> no one would know. So I got up out of the bed. Shh. Along the passage, Shh. careful not to tread on the creaky floorboard outside Mum and Dad's bedroom because if they wake up and find me, I'll be in big trouble. So, really quiet. Are they still asleep? Yes. Okay. Along the passage, down the stairs, into the kitchen, open the cupboard, and yeah! Take it out. Just have a little look at it. And then I notice some little crumbs on the plate. So I think if I lick the end of my finger, I could pick up some of those crumbs. Oh, yeah, a little sort of sticky little and then I notice on the side of the boy there's some little crumbly bits just falling off. So I think if I take a knife, I could just tidy it up a little bit. No one would notice. Scrunch it all together, and there's the crumbly bits and the sticky bits, and it's all gonna go in there. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then I notice that as I've tidied it up a little bit over here, then maybe I could just even it up a bit over here. So I take the knife again, and this time, 
and I've got a whole slice this time. Yeah, and it's all gonna go in there. It's a belly ready. And now I got the taste of it in my mouth, and I can't stop myself, so I go. And I got all these slices. I can't stop myself. Oh no! It's all gone. Oh no! They're bound to notice now. What am I going to do? I know. I'll wash up the plate and the knife. And they won't know anything about it. Good thinking. <laughs> Take the plate and the knife and wash it up. And back up to bed. Up the stairs. Along the passage. Now I know where the creaky floorboard is now. So all I've got to do is tread over it. Careful now. Are they still asleep? Yes, it's okay. Into the bedroom. Into bed. Under the curtains. <sighs> nice swarm. Ha ha ha! Take that, my coat and no balls. Oh, bother. Oh, um, who are you? Wait, stop! There's some chocolate cake in there. I think this is really brilliant. Now it's time for everybody's favorite subject. Okay. Problem one. Five plus two equals... It's seven. Uh -huh. You got it. Problem two. Two plus one. Equals three. You're doing fantastic. Problem three. Divided by equals. Oh no. Uh, oh no. Ah, uh, seven and three quarters. Goodbye. <laughs> No running in the hall. What? 15, 15 seconds. seconds. Detention for you. You should know better. Ay, 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 ay. Get the hell out of here! Good thinking. But I need some chocolate cake. No! Chocolate, 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 chocolate. Chocolate, chocolate. Yes. Okay. Along the passage. Are you fucking kidding me? Let's play. All right. One, two, three, four, five. Let's play again. Looks like it's sweeping time. I'll take that. It's mine now. Now I'm angry. I am angry. What? The... <laughs> Ow! Ow! That hurts! 
For God's sake! I need a key. Shut up, stint! You can't rule my life! Ow! No item, no pad. No ball in the hall. Detention for you. When will you learn? Sweep, sweep, sweep. Yeah, there it is. Oh no, I'm going to get into trouble now. No, all you need to do is. You're too slow. Nice, warm home. Now then, it's time for chocolate cake. <laughs> chocolate, 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 chocolate. Michael Rosen plays Five Nights at Freddy's. Michael Rosen plays Five Nights at Freddy's. And off we go. Hmm, pizza. Let's do it. Okay, don't worry about it. Oh. Who the fuck is that? Before? Must have been. Ah! Oh no! An electronic rabbit. You stay there. She can't slipped away. Um, I... Uh, okay. Don't worry about it. See a fan. Mm. Get out! Get out of here! Oh no! Hooray! I got through! And off we go. Oh no. Ah! Nice. Uh, it might be a good idea to peek at those cameras while I talk. 
just to make sure everyone's in their proper place. You know? Oh no. Uh, interestingly enough, Freddie himself doesn't come off stage very often. I heard he becomes a lot more active in the dark though, so hey, I guess that's one more reason not to run out of power, right? Okay. <laughs> uh, I also want to emphasize the importance of using your door lights. Oh. Uh, there are blind spots in your camera view. What so those blind spots have to be right outside your doors. Ah. So if, if you can't find something or someone on your cameras, uh, be sure to check the door light. Uh, so oh no! She can't, bitch! Uh, not that you would be in any danger, of course. Okay. Uh, I'm not implying that. Uh, also, uh, check on the curtain in Pirate Cove from time to time. The character in there seems unique in that he becomes more active if the cameras remain off for long periods of time. Oh no. Uh, I guess he doesn't like being watched. I don't know. Uh, anyway, I'm sure you have everything under control. Uh, talk to you soon. Um... Uh... Ah! She was watching me. Blimey. Ah! Fuck off! Get out! Get out of here! Happen to you. Michael Rosen and Doki Doki Rancher Club. Warning! This is a horror story. <laughs> Shut up, stinks! You can't rule my life! Hello! What can I do for you? Um, yeah, I would like to buy a game, please. Okay, coming right up! No! Do you know the way? Oh no! Oh! Perfect! Why don't you try this? Um, what do I owe you? Nothing! It's for free! Hmm... Thanks. <laughs> this game is nothing but trouble! And so the adventure begins. Donkey, donkey. What do you want? Uh, actually, no. Fair enough, and I'll tell you, it's because I don't care. There's some chocolate cake. Join in. Ah, get off me!
I don't know why, but I think I made Cyborg re really upset over me eating the whole of the rest of the chocolate cake. I'd better than say sorry to her. Look, I'm really sorry about the chocolate cake. What are you talking about? Um, I'll just go home, all right? We couldn't say anything. It was the first time I've seen Cyborg be so sad. Anyway, let's write a poem. Maybe it's something special. Next day. Uh, can I share my poem to Natsuki? Yeah. Well, at least I didn't. All right. Is it cyborg re all right? Okay. Oh, hi girls. What do you want? Into the mouth. Oh. Hey, that's pretty good. Mm. Anyway, that cupcake tastes nice. Snack suki. Ah, uh, okay. I don't know. Cyborg, please. I want to help you with your depression. What can I do? Wait, Wait of, course. of course. I've, I've got, got to, to do, do it. it. Don't worry. I'll make sure you won't have to worry about this stuff anymore. All right? Take a deep breath. Ah, today is the festival. Right, let's go inside. Monique, uh, what are you doing here? I don't like where this is going. Okay. Don't worry about it. Oh no. <laughs> Hello, Cyborg. It's me, Michael Rosen. Look, wake up. Oh, come on. I'm talking to you. Wake up, wake up, you idiot! Come on, Cyborg! Just look at this! Oh. Oh. Oh no. 
I see what money added there. <laughs> Well, I guess I'll have to go to school alone, all by myself. Um, hi, Mummy. Well, I am a poet, so I shall join in. It's not very good, is it? I mean, you could write a good poem about a train slowing. What the? Oh, uh, Mummy, uh, do you think some things are, you know, odd? First of all, Natsuki told me that her dad beats the living shit out of her at home. And now your re looks like she loves me a little bit too much. Stop watching this video now! What? Yeah! Holy oh, shit! Are you crazy? I wonder where your re is with my tea. Your re ah Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> okay, what the fuck are you even saying?
Michael Rosen noticed. He fucked up. For a moment I felt ashamed. Like as if I'd done something wrong. All over the floor, all over the table, all over the knife.
Are you sure? What the fuck did I just play? That game was absolutely awful. If I don't oh, no. know how to love you I'll leave you be Michael Rosen in the Fitzroy We sit down to eat And the potato's a bit hot. So I only put a little bit on my fork and I blow. So I only put a little bit on my fork and I blow. Oh, oh. oh fuck. Oh, fuck me. Oh. Till it's cool, just hot. Then into the mouth. <laughs> nice. And there's my brother, he's doing the same. <laughs> Till it's cool, just fuck into the tree. <laughs> nice. There's my mum, she's doing the same. <laughs> Till it's cool, just into the mouth. <laughs> nice. But my dad. My dad. What does he do? He fucks a great <laughs> big chunk of potato into his mouth and then that really does it. His eyes pop out. He fucks his hands. He blows, he puffs, he yells, he bells, 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 head up and down. He spits spits of potato all over his plate and he turns to us and he goes, Nice. Watch out everybody, the potato's really hot. Michael Rosen versus Jeff the King. Once I went to the USA for the National Plum Expo. Look! Wonderful. I've got a big bag of plums. Ah! Oh no! I tripped and dropped my bag. Go to sleep! <laughs> Never mind. I don't suppose I'll come back here. I don't suppose I will. Tomato what shop punch now we had a bomb we had a fish called Maylene she said nothing because fish don't talk and she's dead hmm and then Oh no! A moment I dread when Dad goes from windmills to 
absolutely windmills. When, 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 when I was one, I was the fat red tomato. When I was two, I fried my hamster. When I was three, I was a tree. When I was four, I invented a shoe. When I was five, I was high. When I was six, I was born without a face. When I was seven, I ate nine. When I was eight, I drank red ball. When I was nine, seven ate me. When I was ten, I landed on the ground. <laughs> That wasn't very nice. Ah, home. What? <laughs> Long time no see. I know where you work. I know your friends, your family. All that will be taken from you. I'll take the time with you. <laughs> I think it's time for you to go to sleep. <laughs> ha! What a stupid fish face. Um, sorry. Who are you? My name's Jeff. Jeff, is it? Right. Out! <laughs> and that's when I get into really big trouble. <laughs> You should have heeded the warning. Time to go to kill. <laughs> Wonder if it would bend. Bend. Don't do that. He doesn't stop. It goes on for ages. Michael Rosen, this the Plum Star. Is that the best you got? You're already dead. <laughs> and yes, he exploded. Right, as you know, I killed Jeff the Killer. Why? Yes, it is because he's a bad guy, but there's another reason, isn't there? Yes, Warren, because his story was crap. <laughs> nice. And so, Michael combined all these monsters' souls into one to create a rich Rosen. But not only that, they became rich. And so, Michael decided to go to the beach, as well as his friends did too. Let's find out what's going on. Just stay along with me, guys. This is weird. I don't know what's going on. I'm gonna do it on the open. Something there. My switch is broken. I'm trying to keep it on. 
Let's just 